Hello and good day, Mike Adcock with an update on Typhoon Haiyan in the Western Pacific. Uh, this briefing is based on the uh, 9 Zulu JMA advisory f uh, on the 7th of November. Uh, taking a look at Typhoon Haiyan, uh, right now about 595 kilometers east-southeast of Tokloban City in the Philippines, or about 700 kilometers east of Cebu City. Uh, it continues to move off to the west-northwest at 18 knots. Uh, JMA's current wind speed with this system is 115 knots gusting up to 165. Um, JTWC uh, from the US military had it has it quite a bit stronger 150 knots sustained gusting up to 180 knots. Uh, so either way you cut it though a very very intense typhoon uh, getting ready to approach the Philippines. Uh, JMA's pressure on this with 905 hectopascal uh, again very very intense uh, typhoon that we're monitoring. You see on satellite imagery here a very sharply defined eye, a very uh, deep convective eye wall associated with this. Matter of fact, speaking of satellite, we'll take a look at the uh, Dvorak analysis. Um, pretty much all the agencies here, again, going for a very, very strong storm. Uh, JMA uh, 7.5 um, for a final T there. Uh, Nez or J JTWC uh, actually went with uh, again 7.5. Uh, Met was 8.0. And to you know, looking at their uh, bulletin, JTWC, what they're looking at, and kind of give you an idea of what they're looking at. They're taking a look at the eye picture or the eye here. Um, a warm, medium gray eye. So the temperature is right now about 18 degrees Celsius, and it's surrounded by this cold, medium gray. Uh, so that gets them a 6.5. They add another uh, another point. Uh, based on the eye characteristics, so it gets you a 7.5. Um, what that means, using the American scale, about 155 knots, or 906 hectopascal. Now that's kind of interesting because we're looking at uh, NESDIS, uh, this is the National Weather Service, very similar situation, they're seeing the cold medium gray eye surrounded by the cold medium gray, warm medium gray eye, cold medium gray surroundings. Um, and this maxes out the central feature number at 7.5 after the eye adjustment of 1. Uh, what they also note here is this banding feature out ahead of the storm that's getting ready to affect the Visaya Islands. Um, the system is, or this banding feature, is a little too cool to be added as a banding feature. However, they could be leaning toward an 8. And matter of fact, uh, the, the model number showed 8 they opted to go for their final intensity and current intensity as an 8. Why that's significant is uh, that would suggest possibly as strong as 170 knots or an 890 hectopascal storm which puts it an extremely strong storm. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the weaker agency is the uh, advanced Dvorak technique showing 7.3 and when I say weaker that's not really meaning much. Still 150 knots there, a 911 hectopascal, which is what JTWC went for their initial intensity at their 9 Zulu bulletin. Uh, take a look at the wide uh, satellite image of the Western Pacific. Of course, you see uh, Haiyan there in the, the featured system. Approaching the Philippines, starting to move out from Palau. Um, you're starting to notice the eyes moving a little bit further north than west, and that's in response to this cold front exiting out of Japan. It's pushing the area of high pressure that we've been watching the past few days off to the east. So it's allowed this weakness now, and the ridge is allowing Haiyan to move northward. It's going to be short lived, though. You do have uh, this, again, another area of high pressure exiting China. So that's going to keep it. Uh, from moving too far north, but still looking for impact there in the in the Visayas. And you see that with the JMA uh, surface analysis, again, the strong area of high pressure uh, flanked on both sides of Japan. Cold front going through Japan. That's allowing this slight northward jog in the track. And that's also picked up by uh, JMA's official track. Um, again, making landfall right now on the border of Lete and Samar, and then crossing uh, through the Visaya Islands. That being said, northern Mindanao and southern Luzon still under the gun with this. And take a look at all the other agencies around the basin. Very, very similar story. This is from uh, Taiwan's uh, Central Weather Bureau. Uh, again, landfall there in northern Lete, southern Samar. Uh, Hong Kong Observatory, similar situation. 
here's uh, the Korean Meteorological Agency. All the really by and large what we're seeing here is very very high confidence in the models so that's why we're seeing all the agencies on point saying the same thing this is Vietnam again affecting the central Visaya, uh, the, the uh, Visaya Islands um, as well as uh, the landfall there in Lete and Samar. Here's Pegasus official track on Yolanda um, right now they're looking for landfall to be in Lete uh, this is also going to be affecting uh, Biloran, uh, the northern tip of Cebu uh, Ilo, Ilo, Capiz, uh, Aklan, um, as, as a very powerful system. Uh, in addition to the strong winds, we've been talking about the winds, uh, heavy rainfall, 10 to 30 millimeters per hour around this system. Sea travel, air travel is not going to be advised. Uh, those in low lying and mountainous areas, you're going to have to keep an eye out for flash flooding, landslides, uh, coastal areas, especially. Um, especially there in, in Lete and Samar, you can be seeing storm surges up to seven meters with this system. Uh, did mention the um, the public storm signals. Here is the this afternoon's uh, Pagasa public storm warning signals. Uh, what you see there in yellow, that's storm signal one, uh, indicating 30 to 60 kilometer per hour winds over the next or within the next 36 hours. Uh, this automatically cancels uh, classes for kindergartners. Uh, in orange is signal two for 60 to 100 kilometer winds in the next day. This cancels uh, kindergartners all the way through high schoolers. Uh, in red there, that's signal three, 100 to 185 kilometer winds in the next 18 hours. This also cancels college and uh, government offices. And then you see there, um, Eastern Samar, Samar, uh, Lete, Southern Lete, uh, Beleran. You're in signal four, looking for winds of excess of 185 kilometers per hour in the next 12 hours. Uh, especially in the signal four areas, as well as all other regions in the western or in the uh, in the Visayas. Uh, continue to monitor the advice of your local authorities. If you're urged to evacuate, please, please evacuate because this is going to be a very, very powerful system. Um, you're going to see, again, very intense winds, very, very heavy rainfall. Um, don't wait until it's too late. Once this storm makes landfall, um, when you get into trouble, it's going to be very, very difficult for rescuers to come out and take care of you. So please, please heed the advice of your local authorities. Um, also wanted to bring up the JTWC forecast. Really no surprises here. Uh, again, initial intensity 150 knots, gusting to 180. Uh, they are showing some slight weakening, but quite frankly, when you get a powerful storm such as Haiyan, uh, intensity is going to fluctuate. You may see it drop off a little bit. You may see it gain up. You know, we're seeing some fluctuations in the Dvorak uh, satellite analysis. So either way, whatever you cut it, I mean, this is the equivalent of a uh, Sapphire Simpson uh, Category 5 Typhoon. This is a powerful system. So um, once it does cross the, uh, the Philippines uh, and reemerges in the South China Sea, should see some weakening there. That's partly due to the land interaction, and then some uh, sea surface temperatures will start to we, uh, slow, or the sea surface temperatures will start to cool down a little bit. That's going to help uh, a weakening trend. All right, we talked about models again. On point here. Really, nothing more to say than what you haven't seen already um, from all the other agencies around. It's going to. It's going to hit Lete and Southern Samar. Uh, intensities, it's going to rapidly rapidly decrease. Uh, again, still should see a, a typhoon uh, continue to cross all the way and reemerge in the South China Sea as, as still a typhoon. So continue to monitor the progress of Haiyan. All right, upper level winds, great outflow loft. Really nothing uh, to talk about here. You can see that trough that's influencing that northward jog uh, with the storm. Uh, looking at the lower levels, really not a whole lot to pick up here just because of the amount of cloud cover associated with this typhoon. 
Uh, shear, not an issue. It's all up to the north. No worries there. Um, there we go. And I mentioned rainfall. This is uh, from the GFS model. This is precipitation totals through the 9th. Uh, this is going to be Saturday morning, uh, about 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. rather, Philippine time. Again, still looking at about 6 to 10 inches of rain. This is going to be about 150 to 250 millimeters of rain total. And this is going to be affecting, you know, uh, northern Mindanao all the way up through southern Luzon. So uh, continue to monitor the progress of this storm. All right. Uh, at, in terms of surface weather plots, we're kind of in that gap right now. Um, Palau starting to see improving conditions there as the storm exits out. Uh, Mindanao uh, and the um, in the Vis eastern Visayas, you're going to see decrease or, or de deteriorating conditions uh, over the next several hours as Haiyan approaches you. I uh, do wanted to pull up, did want to pull up a, an observation though. This is out of plow again. Improving conditions, pressures back up to a thousand six tech, a thousand six hectopascals. Just cloudy conditions out there. Winds have subsided, so uh, much better there. We're going to continue to monitor though the observations across the Visayas uh, as Haiyan approaches. So um, this concludes today's update on uh, Haiyan. Of course, uh, we'll. All the authors over at Western Pacific Weather are going to be posting about this system uh, over the over the course of the night and into tomorrow morning. So feel free to continue to monitor that over at WesternPacificWeather.com. You can also follow along on Twitter and Facebook. We'll all be uh, posting there. Uh, join in on the conversation as well at Storm2K.org. I'll be posting as well on Twitter at Senior Pepper. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, be safe out there, especially if you're in the path of this storm. Uh, again, please heed the uh, advice and the um, the warnings from your local, uh, you know, from police, meteorological agencies, etc. Uh, have a great day, and again, please take care.